Hello YouTube friends, uh, this is Manuel Amunategui and welcome to Viral ML episode number 10. In this episode, I'm going to talk about SaaS software as a service. Uh, it's a la last article, the latest article I wrote on Viral ML. You can find it there. The link is there uh, with additional links in it and, you know, and the whole article. But I'm going to go over the high level points. I think it's an interesting concept. So SaaS and data science powerful combination it can really help you it can really uh, uh, help you get your ideas out there in the world a lot quicker for us you know weekend uh, entrepreneurs um, uh, what is SaaS very quickly well SaaS is a you know software as a subscription most uh, software out there is is either moving currently or has already moved to that model think about Adobe products and now you, you now get them as a subscription and office products you get them as a su subscription as well before uh, you could buy the entire office suite for I don't know three hundred dollars the, the, the professional suite was very expensive now you know for in some cases under fifty dollars you can get a whole access to a whole year of that software so it pros and cons for both sides uh, in terms of the end user now you get get the, the, the full featured software for a year uh, you know the bugs are gonna get fixed addressed really quickly everybody's seeing the same version so that's a lot of, lot of advantages there and your cost of entry is lower and in terms of the the business also they're creating a subscription stream they also it's a bit less formal to fix issues to repair bugs because you know they can roll it out whenever they want um, advantages on both both sides right so uh, it's not a huge stretch from the web applications I've been talking about in the past where you prototype it out in the, in the web, quickly see, you know, using Flask and Python, quickly see if it sticks, the ideas are working or not. Uh, you know, use Stripe or PayPal. It's very similar, but it kind of, um, uh, by thinking about it as a SaaS, it formalizes certain aspects of it and it's going to make your, getting your ideas out there in the world even faster. Uh, there are, uh, uh, you know, of, of course, right, uh, software uh, as a product, you could sell it before at perpetuity, Software as a, as a subscription, you don't. You never do that, right? That'd be that'd be suicidal. You you sell it for a month, three months, a year, depending on how, you know however you want to monetize it, right? You sell it for a short per period of time. You're basically pinning a clock on it, saying you know this is for this amount of time. Once that time is gone, right? You you know you don't have access anymore. So there are three huge advantages uh, about using a, a SaaS model for our, uh, our you know our experiments, our, our our entrepreneurial web application experiments. First, it builds a a, a simple monetization framework for you to use so once you figure it out once you got the code whether you're using PayPal Stripe memberful whatever service you're using out there you build it once and then you can recycle that code especially if you build it in a way that's a bit you know isolated from the rest it's super easy to bring it back and use the exact same code all you have to do is change a few IDs and who you know on your in your dashboard in your financial dashboard make sure you point you say this is a different product so you understand you know what what is bringing you what money and you separate them right but it's so trivial to do once you have it once figured out you know, then you'll never have to worry about that anymore. And the best part of it is that you're pushing out all that sensitive stuff to your plugin, whether it's Stripe or PayPal. You're telling, you know, you deal with financial information, you deal with credit card numbers. You know, I don't want anything to do with it. And then all you have is a few lines of code and you can go from one idea to the next. So super powerful, uh, very freeing, so you can really focus on those ideas. Uh, two, it allows you to create this, this experiment with your, you know, uh, with your, uh, the niche, the people you're, you're, you're trying to, um, uh, share that model with, share that product with, and also uh, experiment with financial models. You can do more expensive, less expensive, do some A and B testing. It's very easy because you have that financial framework in place and you can say same product but two different IDs with different costs and you can compare how they work. So very powerful. And finally, uh, uh, I, like, I really like this one. It puts uh, crystal clear financial analytics within your reach, meaning it's not you anymore who's figuring out, oh, I know I, I didn't make money here, but I'll count it as money or not. No, at the end of the day, you have to go to uh, your, your, th that financial services portal and they'll tell you exactly how much money you made or did not make and you'll have to pay taxes on that money. So it's formal and it'll tell you this idea worked, you made a hundred bucks, this idea you made a thousand dollars, right? There's no, it's, it's, it's no, there's no gray, gray area. It's a hundred percent, you know, black and white, you know exactly what you did. So I really like that. I think that's powerful. Um, and also, once you start thinking about, you know, as a software, as a subscription, the ideas, there's so many things you can do. Uh, so I, I, I put a list of what I think are good ideas or good starting points for ideas, you know, around the idea of uh, information aggregation, uh, data, custom data science feeds, you know, NLP, uh, web crawlers, uh, API funnels, you know, REST API funnels, all sorts of things. And for uh, inspiration, I also have a link here. Oh, of course, 
the free platform, right? This is something I talked in, in previous videos. Uh, you can have access to my course, which is free. Uh, the ebook is free, and it shows you how to build that web application uh, where you can quickly experiment, uh, even you know using Stripe and PayPal. And very simplistic, but at least easy enough to figure out if something's going to stick or if you're capable of building it or not, right? So very powerful. Uh, every weekend you can crank out another idea. I mean, I think it's phenomenal. And for those who are having issues finding ideas and you know that list did not help you well i put a uh, a really cool article here how to uh, no not this one here how to come up with your own profitable online business ideas this is from um indie hackers and i think this came out in 2017 but it's still extremely appropriate for today and it goes through a whole bunch of ideas of people who um who made services and how much money they're making so very inspirational you know read it uh not only will it trigger ideas because you could very well think about building something around that business but it's nice to see how much money they're making uh and, and, and some, some of these are going to surprise you some people are making a lot of money with some really cool ideas so uh again the articles are here you can now follow me on twitter right at uh ampersand amunategi please follow me and if you like this article you know please share it to to people around you uh it's much appreciated thank you